worst shows we watched in 2022. Eli, I want you to kick us off bilingual style. (laughs) So this year, uh, an LS año, (laughs) we watched (laughs) Paraiso. So... Better Yiso is our number three. Does it deserve to be a top three worst show of the year? Yes, it does. It Does that mean it's worse than the two or the one? Absolutely not, because we have some reasonings for why these are just terrible. <laughs> in, in a year where we watch more bad TV, because we watched a lot of good shows this year. We did. If in a year that we watch more bad TV, this might not make their list. This one wasn't that bad objectively in the grand scheme of things. So... About this show. You guys have seen Stranger Things. If you haven't, I don't know where you've been the last, what, six, six years at this point? Yep. Yeah. Um, so take all the things that you love about Stranger Things, right? All, all those moments. Throw that shit out the window. You don't need that, bro. Take <laughs> all those bad moments because there was a lot of them. And if you say there's not a lot of them in Stranger Things, you're tripping. Now, pretend those characters speak Spanish. <laughs> So they're speaking Spanish in the worst Stranger Things remake you've ever seen. And now the main character or one of the main characters dies. Spoiler alert. Don't obviously don't watch the next like two minutes if you don't like spoilers and want to watch Power Yuso <laughs> for some fucking reason. Um, so the main character dies, right? And in in that journey to get the main character back, about four or five people die because of it. <laughs> trying to get the main character to live. So, what are we doing here? The whole plot line is to get is about hey, we're gonna save a life. We're gonna save this kid that died. But in that journey, we are gonna kill everybody else. We're gonna kill every single character in this show. But that guy's alive now. So it was just a show that the mystery element was okay. The the script and the acting. I I don't know about the acting because you know it was in a different language. So I can't you know knock that too much but it was just not great it was not great at all and that's why it's at number three um again is it worse than two or one definitely not worse than one uh tristan is here to speak about number two a woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window that was my show i thought it looked entertaining at least it seemed like the right kind of cheesy to me like i it kind of looked like it was going to be a good bad. Like, we, we knew it was going to be bad, but then it would be kind of good. It didn't turn out that way. It was just kind of bad, bad most of the time. Uh, Kristen Bell was the main character, and she played an alcoholic who also was on medications for depression because her daughter died. Um, so we got to deal with her going through that most of the show. And then there was also a random... I don't know, love plot. Because there was a love plot, sort of. But then there was a tangential sex scene. And that made no sense. And then they basically gave away the plot in the title of the show. Spoilers, once again, the murderer was the girl across the street the whole time. It was her. Now, that was the best part of the whole show was when she found out it was the girl and then the little girl, this is like an eight, nine-year-old girl that has a knife and is trying to stab her. That was awesome. That was hilarious. That scene ruled. Uh, But other than that, we just had kind of some randomness and nothing all that exciting. We had the weird handyman plot line where they tried to throw us for a loop. Like, he might be the killer and he was never the killer. Uh, But otherwise, it it wasn't even... It wasn't even good, bad, unfortunately. It was just bad. And that's why this is number two on the list for worst shows. Take it away, Reek. I have exasperated most of my energy, <laughs> most of my talk about this show, but yet here I am again to tell you why it is, in fact, the worst show we watched this year and probably the worst show I've ever watched in my life. Bloodlines has a star-studded cast. They paid a lot of money for these people. And it genuinely shocks me that they paid all this money to these people and paid no dollars to the writers. This story is terrible. 
my biggest pet peeve in TV is creating a show with no enjoyable characters. Why? Because who the fuck am I supposed to cheer for? Am I supposed to cheer for the plot? Yay, and day passed. Let's fucking go, guys. Next episode. Woo, the day passed again. It's fucking dumb, okay? When you got a bunch of jackasses who are all assholes and have no redeeming qualities, why am I watching it? Let alone you put it on for what felt like 25 episodes in one season, which in reality I think was only like 15 maybe. I think it was like it was just, 10 or 12. It was just a gigantic piece of dog shit. Featuring one of the worst characters in the history of the planet in Danny. Then you got this big jabroni who plays the same fucking archetype in the main character, not Danny. Whoever the fuck he is. He was in Friday Night Lights. I forget his name. He's a big jabroni too. The mom's a big jabroni. Lita Cardellini's in there. You like her? Remember her? Hey, hey that's cool. We're going to use her for exploitative sex scenes. Where you're going to tune into the show just to watch her get railed, buddy. Yeah, that's what's going to keep him involved, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Because this show got a big whopping fucking zero. This thing is terrible. I never, ever want to watch anything from these writers, directors again. I almost canceled my Netflix subscription because this show (laughs) was such a gigantic piece of shit. Never, ever, ever, ever put something like this on here again, Tristan. Or next time, there will only be two people doing the binges. Thank you. (laughs) So, does this beat our last year's winner, Cowboy Bebop Live Action? Do you need my answer? <laughs> I'm, astu- I'm assuming it starts with a Y and ends with an S. And there's an E in there, too. <laughs> yeah, there's an E in there. It, is, it spells yes, and it does beat it for me as well. It doesn't for me, dude. I I still, look, <laughs> you guys hated this right away. I don't hate this show. I didn't even have it close to my top three worst shows. But you guys insisted, and you guys just couldn't get it out of your head. So here we are. But it's definitely not worse than the live-action Cowboy Bebop because that – was terrible that was just the worst and i can't believe you guys are saying that this is worse than that at least i laughed at cowboy bebop (laughs) yeah honestly dude if there's a bunch of people that hate this show me and rick will be two of them if there's two people left that still hate this show me and rick will be those two if there's one person that thinks this show is the worst show in in the history of the world one of us is still alive and if there's zero I mean, Tristan made it out somehow, and me and Reek are fucking dead somewhere. <laughs> and there's there's zero. I'm still cheering on from hell. <laughs> hell. hell yeah. Look, 